Hello! First of all, Merry Christmas everybody! I hope you're having great holidays and I just hit my table. It's the end of the year and there is 2021 that's coming right next door to us. So today we're gonna speak about the money goals for 2021. That applies for everybody if you are young, middle age or even an old person, you can just work on these for 2021 and you'll have a great financial life. But hey, my name's Alexi and on this channel I speak about personal finance and investing. So if you are into this kind of subjects, you can just, you know, you know, you know. Also guys, don't forget that in the description of this video, you can find all the timestamps if you wanna go to every single goals for 2021 when it comes to your money. So yeah, go and check it out. You will probably save some time if you know some of these. So let's start this video off with the first point, which will be to pay off high interest debt. Okay, why specifically high interest debt and why not every single debt? Because of the second point of this list, you're gonna understand everything in just a second, but why paying off high interest debt? Well, there are a few really important reasons and I always recommend for anybody that wants to improve their financial life to start off with paying off debt. There are actually a few reasons why I always recommend that to everybody and the first reason is because you're losing money pretty much. The more debt you have, the more you have to pay every single year and with interest, of course, it's getting more expensive if you don't pay them. So just think about it, having a high interest debt means that every single month or every single quarter or every single year, really depends on the kind of debt you have, you will have to pay a certain amount. If you don't pay this amount, well, the interest is adding up and because of something called compound interest, you will have to pay more and more and more on every single payment, except if you start paying it off. So for example, if you have any credit card debt or any student loan debt, any of these, you need to pay them off before anything else in your financial life. Now, let's go into an example. You'll understand a little bit more of what I'm saying. If you have $100,000 in debt, for a scholarship that you got in the university of your dreams. And on this, let's say you have a 10% interest. It means that every single year you are not paying this debt, it will get 10% more expensive to pay. Now, if you focus in 2021 to pay off this debt, the most you can, you will reduce this interest because what some people are doing is that they're not really focusing on it and they just say, okay, I'm just gonna like pay a small percentage of my income to my student loans debt and over time it will be nothing. But the problem is with all these interests that you have to pay on top of that, you will pretty much break even or just lower the debt a little bit, which will make no difference at the end of the day. But if you really focus on paying a lot of money into this debt, you will lower it so much that even with the interest, you are paying enough a lot. And then you can just do that for a few years and you'll be done forever with this debt. And also one great thing about this is that when you are done with it, you liberate yourself from debt and you can finally start doing what I recommend to anybody, which is investing. Good transition, by the way, because this is the second point. Of course, investing is so important. My channel is all about that and making money, saving money and all that. So I'm really interested into this subject and I want you guys to learn why it's so important to invest. Because the way money works is that you trade your time for money and then you spend your money on whatever you want. Now, I want you to change this mentality. I want you to take the money that you got from whatever work you're doing and invest it. This way you are making this money work for you and making you more money. This way you can reinvest and make even more money. That's what we call compound interest and that's exactly what I was speaking about before with the interest when it comes to debt, but it also works with your investments. If you invest a lot of money and you get paid a certain amount, you can reinvest it to make more money. That's the exact same way that debt work, except that you are making money this time. So yeah, you're pretty much making money by investing your money, which is awesome and everybody should do it if you paid your debt, of course. Now, there's something really cool with investing. For example, in the stock market, as I'm doing right now, you can get paid something that's called a dividend. It's really simple the way it works, but when a company makes a lot of profit and they have enough to reinvest into the business, but they still have a surplus of money with them, they can take this money and take it back to shareholders in forms of cash payments that we call dividend. This way you can actually get paid some passive income by just investing your money. And this is really important. You can start making passive income with $1. If you have $1 invested, you can make maybe $0.02 per year. But yeah, if you have more money invested, you can make lots and lots of money passively by just having money sitting in the stock market. And now just to make you understand how powerful investing can be, here is an example. Now let's say that you are making $3,000 a month. That's a pretty cool salary that you have. But now 
Do you really have to spend all this money on yourself? If not, then you can take a bit of your salary and invest it in the stock market. And let's say you have a fixed amount every single month. In this case, let's say that you are able to save $1,000. So you invest $1,000 per month let's say for seven years. And on average, the stock market is returning about seven to eight percent when you invest, for example, in the S&P 500. So let's take this percentage for this equation. So you invested $1,000 every month for seven years at a 7% return annually. After seven years, you'll have a portfolio that is worth more than $100,000, but you only invested about 84,000, which means that you made over $23,000 by investing $1,000 dollars per month for seven years. Now, because of compound interest, you are making more money the longer you are investing. So let's say right now that you started investing and it's 14 years later. So the double of the time we just spoke about. After 14 years, you have $168,000 that you invested in the stock market, but your portfolio value listen to this, is $280,000, which means by just investing $1,000 per month for 14 years, you made more than $110,000. That's crazy, right? Now let's go to 21, so three times seven years. Now this is when things are getting interested. You have invested $252,000 in the stock market, but you made way more than what you invested. Your portfolio value is now $555,000, which means that you made more than $300,000, which is even more than what you invested overall. So you can see that compound interest makes your money grow faster and faster every single year. And the longer you're doing it, the better it is for you. You can literally become a millionaire by investing $1,000 in the market every single month for 30 years. So imagine now that you have a bigger salary and you can invest more into the market, it's going to grow even faster. So your goal for 2021 is first to pay off debt and now to start investing your money. Now the third thing that you should do with your money in 2021 is to start learning about diversification and risk management. Because of course, if you start investing some money into the market, you need to do it the proper way, safely, so that you feel comfortable with what you're doing, so you're not stressed every day about your money being in the stock market, and that's exactly it. That's diversification and risk management. If you don't know, the more diversification you have in a portfolio, the safer you are. So let's say that you own two companies and one of them is having issues with whatever they're doing. Well, you can lose half of your portfolio because of this one company. Now, let's say you own 30 companies and one of them is struggling. This way, all of your companies are doing okay except this one company and that doesn't do anything pretty much to your portfolio. So the more diversified you are, the safer it is for you to start investing your money. So if you are really conscious about investing money in the stock market, you are scared of losing everything, there is a really simple way for you to make it really easy and really safe. It's called investing into what's called an ETF. I speak about this all the time, but for me, that's probably the best way for anyone to start investing their money. An ETF is an exchange traded fund, which means that it's a fund. There is multiple holdings in just one basket that is the ETF. So if you just buy this ETF, you are buying a little bit of all the companies that are inside of it. There are many great ETFs, but one of my favorites is the one following the S&P 500. If you invest into this ETF following the S&P 500, you are investing in 500 companies with one share. You buy one share of the S&P 500 and you have 500 companies. For me, it's the best way to invest if any one of you watching right now is scared of investing. Go and watch videos and learn about ETFs. This is literally the easiest, most passive and safe way of investing your money. So I will recommend it to anyone. So third goal for 2021, invest and learn about ETFs. Now, the fourth thing that you should do with your money in 2021 is to make more money. I know it sounds a little bit stupid to just say it like this, but there's so many different ways right now to make money even from your house. You can start your own physical business, you can start an online business, you can develop your presence on social media and start making money with it, or you can even make money with your investments. But I would recommend for you making like a side hustle or something that will bring money to you so that you can invest then this money. And making money seems really tough when you just have a job and you don't have anything else on the sides. But as soon as you find one other way of making money 
of the Daniel main job, you will then understand that it's actually possible to do so. Like for example, for me, last year I had a job in which I was working 100% of the time. And the problem with that is that I didn't have really a lot of time to start a side hustle. But what I started is this YouTube channel. And even though I'm not monetized on this channel, I still made some money on the channel because of like affiliate links, uh, partnerships and stuff like this. So you can make money by just being on social media and speaking about what you like, which is a great opportunity for everybody, I would say. Now let's go to the fifth goal that you should do in 2021. And that's a really, really important one. If you make more money, that's not it. You should also save more money. Because there is a problem in our society is that when people make more money, they spend more money. But you know, it doesn't really serve any purpose to do so. The more frugally you are living, the more money you can have on your hands to start investing and increasing the amounts that you invest over time. Like let's say you get a raise at your job. It doesn't mean that you have to spend more money. You can just live the same way and have more money on yourself to start investing, which is great. And if you start making money with side hustles, your own businesses and stuff that are not your main job, you can save all of this money, live the same way that you are living at the moment, but all this money can go into investments. So if you make more money, save more money. Really important stuff that people don't really understand, I think. So in conclusion, what are the five things that you should do in 2021? First thing first, high interest debt, paid off as soon as possible. Then only start investing. Learn about diversification and risk management, so invest into ETFs. Then start making more money and at the end of the day, you save more money to reinvest it and make even more money. Oh, I'm so dumb, I actually forgot about the last one and that's probably one of the most important ones. Subscribe to this channel. We speak about making more money, investing and making passive income. I mean, what do you want more? I'm just kidding. I love you as you are. And even if you're not subscribed to this channel and you watch me till the end, thank you so much. Now, you can go and watch this video right here that's all about how to start investing as a beginner. And also you can go and watch this video right here that's all about dividend and how to make passive income. Really interesting stuff, go and watch it right now. Also subscribe to the channel if you are not yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.